Hello to my Pisces. That's right. Bonus video time. Requested bonus video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my for my Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is a bonus video. Bonus video, bonus video, bonus video. All right, Pisces. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. First card out of the deck is the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups. We have the Princess of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and also the Dame of Pentacles. Here we have the Nine of Cups here. I'm saying wishes being fulfilled. We also have the King of Cups here. We also have the Princess of Swords here. We also have the Four of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords and we have the Dame of Pentacles. Okay. So first and foremost, when we talk about your wishes being fulfilled, I always talk about like writing down, we got nine here, right? So really keeping your calm, cool, calm, collective. So I feel like somebody's at there at the top of their emotional uh, throne, right? In other words, adjust your crown. You're compassionate towards other people, but you're also pouring into yourselves. And I feel like somebody may have gone through some things where people betrayed you. You've gone through a lot of hurt. You've gone through a lot of pain and people kind of stood around and let other people talk negatively about you, but you refuse to be a Judas in your own circle. You refuse to be that person who keep letting people talk about you, talk about you behind your back, smile on your face, all of that other stuff. You refuse to do all of that. So not only is somebody okay with moving on by the themselves. Somebody is okay with cutting a lot of family members off. A lot of your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. And you're actually in a good headspace, Pisces. So this is good. Really, really good. Now, what's interesting about the, the you know, the, at the time of filming is we had a, um, we got, we have five eclipses this year, right? The first eclipse kicked off March 25th, and that was a partial lunar eclipse in Libra on the full moon, right? In Libra. Libra is all about peace and harmony and justice and balance and all of these things. So somebody says that they're no longer doing any more injustices to themselves, staying connected to Judas spirits. In other words, people who smile in your face and talk about you negatively behind your back. Right, people who know that you've been hurt and they see it as salacious gossip more so than trying to help you. You're getting away from those types of energies. And it looks like you're cutting a lot of people off. Again, you're no longer being a Judas in your own your own circle, which is a good thing. If you feel like if you've ever felt like you've grown up in a family where it's like, okay, if I if if I thought my family was supposed to be my protectors and I supposed to feel safe around my own family and I don't feel safe around my own family. I, and I'm, I, I can cut my own family up. I know I'm not going to be in a, in a space where I'm a Judas in my own circle around friends, jobs, that kind of thing. So it's going to be a lot of, it's going to, it's some major changes that's happening here, right? Here we also have the two of swords right here. So somebody is moving through their rite of passage. And so source is saying, take the blindfolds off and see the blessing of not, of just being in a peace of mind, right? That number two symbolizes peace energies that disrupted your peace see the beauty of them not being in your life anymore doesn't matter if it was an ex love interest ex family members you don't talk to anymore ex whomever ex right usually the person is like sitting down with they like that two swords across them like a, a ex right ex family member ex friends ex job you got to find a silver lining in things of people not being in your life anymore. You got to see it as a blessing. Like, okay, I'm not reliving because sword energy can be traumatic. Think about it. It's not a butter knife cut. It's a sword cut. That's not, that's, that cuts deep when you've been betrayed by your own family and loved ones and exes that you've allowed to get close to your heart and friends that you've allowed to get close to your heart. The level of betrayal, if you stay connected to those things, will almost make you look like a narcissist because it looks like, it, it, and you attract that kind of energy. People who stay tethered to their, their traumas but won't do something to cut the thing at the root and move forward because of the fear. I'm so afraid, family over everything. We've been friends for 20, 30 years. I can't cut them off, but you're you're tethered to the, the very energies that caused you pain. Source is saying, when you detach completely, emotionally, physically, everything, they don't exist in my universe anymore. I'm, every time I have a thought about them, I'm changing the channel to a different higher frequency channel. That's when you know that you said, okay, I can now... I'm in a different headspace now. I'm in a totally different headspace. So that's what's happening. So this, uh, so the total solar eclipse, solar eclipses are all about, um, 
are when the sun, moon, and earth are all aligned. So you know your sun sign. You know what your moon sign is. Why? Because you pulled your birth chart and you looked up your moon sign and you learned how to nurture yourself because you Googled it. How to, how to nurture such and such moon sign. We have a link for free birth charts below in the description. And then your earth is your physical body. So you know you've been in places where it was like this for you. Depressed, sad, didn't want to get out of the bed, confused. And like, I cannot believe I allow these energies to stay connected to my heart. Just because they're family members, because they're friends, because they're, you know, ex-love interests, because of whoever I allowed to get that close to my inner, well, my head and heart are at war with each other. What is wrong with me? Why can't I just cut them off because of part of the conditioning? Well, you're, I mean, y'all, y'all did have a good relationship. You know, y'all were, y'all were together. Y'all, you know, that was your best friend, that kind of thing, right? Part of the conditioning. So I definitely see your wishes being fulfilled. No, I'm moving on, cutting things out of your life. Here we also have the nine of wands. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Staying around people who are in wilderness situation themselves, like miserable. And they want you to be miserable too. They have no help to offer you, Pisces. All they want you to do is be miserable. You're not interested in that anymore. You are getting as far away from them as possible. And their energies keep trying to pull you back into some stuff they keep coming because it is playing on somebody's psyche like okay you can't do it you like you're you're like you're you're hanging around somebody could be hanging around very low of uh, people with, who have feelings of low self-worth that keep you in a state of confusion and burned out and stressed out maybe they blow torture you in your back telling you to be vengeful and that kind of stuff it, you have more peace when you keep it on the throne you're already on your throne you're saying you know what i can go ahead and just remove remove certain energies from my life and live my absolute best life. I can heal the way I want to heal. I don't have to go the direction other people want me to go in. So I'm seeing source putting you around a whole new different type of energies that will help you protect your heart, protect your gifts. I see some good news coming across, but yeah, they will help you to protect. Like for all the tears that you cry for the betrayal, source is actually sending some good news across your path. It could be in the form of good new love. It, only you know what your wishes are. It could be in the form of new love. It could be in the form of whatever. Here we also have the hangman. So sources say it's time for you to start dreaming bigger. Because first and foremost, if you're around other people, if you grow up, I feel like somebody, because we're talking about heart chakra here, your head and heart are at war with each other about some things. If you were raised around the very people who should have protected you from being teased, laughed at, you know, who should have loved you, their need to be loved. But when we talk about hurt people hurting other people, sources saying you being on your throne, you have compassion for them, but you also have compassion for yourself. And you're saying, okay, I never thought I'd be able to cut people out of my life permanently, but I'm cutting them out of my life permanently. And that's where sources saying, hang in there with yourself. It's time for you to dream bigger because being around lost and vengeful people, they just want vengeance. They are enraged because they are at war with themselves. And sources say, no, I need you to take the high road. I need you to get away from some energies in totality. Get away from them. They just messy and low. And they actually re-traumatize you. Here we have the magician card. So when you're talking to people, and this is attached to mercury mercury is retrograde when you slow down and you talk to people who are vengeful like i said misery loves company the goal is the goal is for you to really genuinely heal from your wounds these energies don't want healing from their wounds they want vengeance they're enraged because they won't untie or untether themselves from the their um you know their judases right so they're essentially judas in their own circle so how much do you really think they care about you pisces they don't it's all about them let's 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 have a misery party because misery loves company i'm mad you're mad let's get mad together let's tear up some stuff so it doesn't want you to do you got purpose here on this planet and your purpose is not to be vengeful and enraged in things so source needs source is the one that's kind of talking you off of a ledge like come on pisces you're here on earth for a reason don't go back into these dark spaces where people just they miserable with their lives and they want you to be miserable too so you have a guardian angel that's helping you with that helping you to you know balance it out to see things at the highest frequency like okay okay you get mad then what you tear up some stuff then what it's like people it's like when you see people like on television when they people are mad they don't even know what they mad at and they go and they burn up stores and do all this kind of stuff and do all of this kind of stuff and then at the end of the day the the store owners a lot of them have insurance so they're getting their money back but now somebody's in handcuffs 
the person who's enraged, they're in handcuffs, they're miserable, their lives messed up now, their families got to figure out. It just has a domino effect of just a bunch of mess. And so Source is saying to you, you're cutting all, you're cutting a whole lot of people off. You're moving on. Some of your friendships are cut off for good. Some of your, because again, of that Judas spirit. You let people get that close to your heart, and instead of them protecting you, they hurt you. Here we have the... um queen of pentacles here yeah queen of pentacles so i definitely see people hold you in very high regard yeah so sources saying instead of you looking at other people as being sneaky and a strategic in a negative sense like 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 people look at people have looked at you oh they got all these secrets they sneaky and strategic sources and turn it flip it to a positive get some strategy together to get away from these judas spirits that's what source is trying to tell somebody because unless you want to keep living a nightmare over and over and over again Get a strategy together. I feel like somebody's going to wake up one night and say, I'm just quietly blocking numbers. I'm quietly getting away from these energies. So that's what Source is saying to you. Get a strategy together. And I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, get away from these energies. They already think that you're sneaky, that you have a strategy, that you got all these secrets going on. And there's two types of energies in particular that's just like spearheading it. It can be from both sides of your, your um, it can be from your mom's side of the family and dad's side of the family. And those types of energies like to keep a bunch of mess going on. But you could also have it in your personal life right now that's totally un, unfamiliar to your family. It could be two people that's just like, they just love to keep a bunch of mess going. So it's just like, cut all of them off. Cut them off. Just cut them off. Build, get your strategy together about how you're going to move, get away from these types of energies. Because people hold you in high regard. And what they're trying to do is tear that down. And so source of sending some money across your path to help you to get away. All right, Pisces, source of sending some money across your path to help you get away. And it comes, it, the money comes in in a lot of different forms. It can come in the form of somebody giving you some information that's going to help you to just, okay, strategically, like, move on from this kind of stuff. So stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. And nothing is by coincidence. So you could think, okay, oh, something is splitting my time like a time split. Something is delaying me from moving forward. God is like, no, it's all good because it's all God because God is actually seeing it from the, the highest source is seeing it from the highest vantage point. Source can see straight through people's heart towards you, see their actions in their heart. He can see the smiles on people's faces, but he also knows people's hearts towards you as well. So when you think something is delaying you moving forward, Source is like, stay in a posture of gratitude. Be grateful, be grateful, be grateful, because Source is the one that's moving and shifting some things around in, on your behalf. So stay focused, Pisces. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Here we have four of wands here. So somebody's going to feel like, okay, like two situations in particular, like not your responsibility. These are energies that like to keep a bunch of drama and mess going all the time. So it's just like, that's not your bag to hold. That's not your responsibility to hold their rage, their their lack of compassion towards people. That's not that's not your bag to hold. You're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted and you're going to say, okay, I need now your prayers are actually being answered. Here we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah. These are the type of people that don't consider other people. This is, this is why you, you, you people love you for your compassion. That's your most likable trait, Pisces, is your compassion towards other people. Because you have the ability to see things at the highest frequency. Because I feel like somebody is out for, literally, I feel like some people are out for blood. And, and so you being connected to those type of vengeful type of cutthroat type of energies, you're like, well, wait a minute. Why are they so enraged? Because misery loves company. They're still tethered to their rage. That's what Source is saying to you. When you cut them off, that's when it's going to make you feel like, okay, like I said, you have a guardian angel that's watching over you. But when you cut those type of energies off, because they don't want to see all sides of things, oh, they just want to just, just focus in on their rage and anger and frustration. Source is like, get away from those energies so that you're not... You're not guilty by association. Here we have the high priestess energy, right? Yeah, and so now that you have committed to getting away from those types of energies, Pisces, sources and your high priestess gifts have actually been increased because there's a certain level of awareness that you have when you're kind of, when you feel like you're by yourself, right? You're like, okay, I'm in a new space. I'm in a new apartment building. I'm in a new house. I'm in a new neighborhood. I'm in a new city, town, state, province. Now all the things that you... 
all the things that you learn, all the experiences, you have to tap in. Everything that we need is inside of us, Pisces, everything, right? You can draw from past experiences. So you already can spot a Judas spirit a mile away. All you need to do is sit down and listen and pay attention and learn how to keep your water flushed out on a regular basis, right? Because otherwise, when we come up on that moon in Pisces before we get to that that so that total solar eclipse and the new moon in Aries, it'll almost feel like you're about to, a volcano is about to erupt. You almost give yourself a headache, waking up in sweats, you know, crying, upset, frustrated, mad if you stay connected to certain types of energies. So you're asking God for a strategy. It could be an Aries involved. It could be an Aries involved that's like, it's their way or the highway. They could be talking in your head like some kind of mind control, something they could they could have said to you or something they could be saying to you right now. And so Source is saying to you, get away from certain types of energies. Here we also have the Six of Wands right here. Again, Source is saying, I see you being booked and busy and not burdened by that, but I do see you cutting some people off. I see you cutting some people off. Seven of Pentacles right here. I feel like there's some people in your family that's trying to soothe their own pain by acting like they're supporting you. But again, it's very narcissistic energy and it's very confusing because they they want to sue their own pain because they have been a Judas to you too. So it's just saying you got to be able to sift through all of that toxic water and see the truth about some things. You know how some people be a little bit too gun-ho. They always ready to jump on the bandwagon when there's some drama going on. But when you need them to genuinely help you, they're nowhere to be found. Because they, they thrive off of drama. They thrive off of gossiping about people keeping some mess going. So Source is saying you got to stay laser focused because they accuse people of running away when, when, the, when the fire gets hot. They accuse people but instead of saying, oh, they just don't want to be connected to drama. Remember, this Knight of Swords right here, usually it's like a person on a horse that's racing away from something. So they like to, oh, that person fled. They do this. They do that. When stuff gets hot and, and I just want to, they just, they, they, I mean, you get, you got to see it. You know what I'm talking about, Pisces. Some people's face lights up when there's some drama going on. But when it's some time to sit down for some serious healing and be them to be held accountable for them being a Judas in your spirit, they sit there stone face. They don't know what you're talking about. They have no idea how they hurt other people. In their mind, very narcissistic, in their mind, they think the whole world has done them wrong and they just want to seek vengeance on somebody. Even if they feel like, okay, they're not getting justice. They want to they stand behind. They're the, they the ones with the blowtorches. So Source is saying, mm -mm. but where was all this blowtorch energy when they holding themselves accountable for the, the things that they hurt you with? Where was all that energy? If you were to tell them, well, you hurt me too. I mean, where, where, how come you didn't help me? How come you, when you saw before the 10 swords was in me, where were you? What was going on? Oh, well, no, you don't understand. I was going through this and going. So it's just like, yeah, okay. Keep that same energy. I'm cutting you off too. Move on. They love drama. Here we have the hermit card. So while you're in hermit mode, somebody's um, MC or IC could be um, Virgo because it's Virgo. You are meticulously going through a whole bunch of stuff because, again, while you are compassionate towards everybody who was holding a sword in their hand, you are com you are saying, forgiveness, I, I forgive you, but access to my life from now on is denied forever. I'm going to have to see you on the other side because here on earth, it was just too much, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you all. That's what I'm seeing for you all. So, yeah, here we have the star card. Yep. So you're a star in your own right, but somebody is like definitely in your, in your purpose. You're saying, I, I have purpose on this planet. You know, I have your star slash sun sign. I have purpose on this planet and I am moving forward. I'm, I'm moving forward. So when people talk about, oh, people flee, oh, they, they flee at the first sign of, they will say the same thing about you, Pisces, that you fled a situation, that you're scared, that you know, you know, you're not scared, you're wise. You're wise enough to get away from those types of energies. Here we have the Magician card. That's your power. That's your superpower. So the Magician card came out twice, like I said before. In your Hermit mode, Source is downloading a lot of messages to you about a lot of things. And I hope that somebody has, since Mercury is retrograde, Mer Mercury being retrograde, it, any planet retrograde is a great thing because planets don't slow down and, and, and uh, move backwards. They don't slow down, nor do they move backwards. It gives you an opportunity, in this case, Mercury being retrograde, to slow down and write, document the messages. Please, 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 Pisces, do not let that swirl around in your system. 
sit down and write out what's coming out in your mind, what's coming across, because somebody's overthinking something, and you're trying to figure out who should you cut off and how should you proceed moving forward. Sources like you would rather be by yourself and save yourself in the way you're thinking and save yourself from something that somebody, people don't have your best interest at heart. Sources are saying you stay connected to certain people that don't have your best interest at heart would be connecting with a lot, would be aligning with narcissistic energy. I don't know who that's for, but it would be aligning with narcissistic energy. That's what it will be aligning for. Just so get away from them. Get away from them. Here we have the sun card. Like I said, the uh, sun is a star. And so sources saying, yeah, you're definitely connected to some energies that, you know, they want the sun, moon, and stars to revolve around their situation. And they're not genuine and sincere. When, when it comes to your hurt and your pain, Pisces, wake up. Wake up. You know, so when this when we talk about super new you, you'd rather go it alone and cut everybody off if you need to, so that you can start a fresh new super you start and during this solar eclipse, this total solar is a total new you. And and you sprung forward. You're like, okay, I'm not going back to that person that's staying connected to energies. They won't even they won't even come up out of their miserable situations and they're trying to tell me how to come up out of mine. So it's just like, uh uh-uh. uh. Cut all of them off, all of them. You want to learn, somebody's going to start making some, it's going to start making sense to you, Pisces, when you realize how people can cut people off so soon. It's not that they emotionally detach. They know, they go somewhere, they may cry about it, they may be sad for a minute, but so to say, I'm putting you around a whole different crowd of people. So when you think people can cut people off, they're protecting themselves. They're not fleeing from something. I mean, it's, it's, it's layers to it, but so it's just saying to you, you're not, you're not, cutthroat and cold heart you're a very compassionate person get away from these people who don't show other people compassion and they don't even see the commonality they don't even want to see human frailty in people so therefore when you cut when not a if when you cut all of these people off and you don't look back a lot of them are going to be saying the same thing about you oh i wonder if i wonder if uh you know they're not going to see it as they they would rather you sit there bleeding and sad um, and say, okay, it must not hurt them that bad. You know, they, they haven't, it, it's just, it's just a sick way of being. So anyway, move on here. We have 10 of wands here. We also have the strength card. We also have the, um, the six of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the ace of wands. Like I'm saying, they talk so much trash about you. It's not even funny. And so, so said, so why would you want, I, I don't, I mean, I don't know who I'm talking to. Why would you even want to stay connected to those type of energies? Why would you, because it's really not, it's not you versus it's not you versus somebody else, right? It's them versus themselves, right? And so they're, somebody's trying to pull you into some mess that has, it may have something to do with you being betrayed or whatever the case may be, unless you're a person who likes drama. So I'm saying the way you stop the nightmares is start cutting people out of your life. That's going to be the loudest message that people get. Like, gosh, why did Pisces cut me off of all people, right? They so busy sitting around talking trash about people. Oh, other people, they must be homeless. They must have, they must have such as, they must be this and that. So it's just saying, mm -mm. Six of Pentacles right here. And and all it takes is for you to look for, if you, if you are looking for people's acceptance and approval and you just going along with the flow and you just like, okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know who to believe. You're only being a Judas in your own circle instead of getting by yourself and talking to God. God, download some messages to me. Clear and concise messages. Here we also have the Ace of Wands here. And so I definitely feel like your third eye is wide open. I see you being double booked and busy and not burdened at all. Here we have the page of wands. And so somebody's going to feel strong again. Like you're at the end of a long and arduous journey. Source is saying to you, um, a lot of messages are coming through to you. Um, very clear messages are coming through to you all while you're in hermit mode. And so I just feel like it's a people, it's a lot of instigators at the helm of a lot of stuff, but they're, they are not there for you. Pisces, I need you all to hear this crystal clear. They are there for themselves. That's it. So when all the dust settles and we're looking at, you know, like I said, people hold you in high regard. When I see that you're planting new seeds, possibly moving or relocating somewhere, trust. They've said the same thing about you, that you homeless, you living under a bridge, that you don't have anything. They said the same exact thing about you as they've said to other people. And source is giving you money. But if you go back into that kind of fold where God is giving you money after all the stuff that's been said and all the Judas spirits about you, you're literally throwing yourself into a karmic cycle. Don't know who I'm talking to. 
Like I said, this is a bonus reading. I never know what's going to come out in the cards, but these are the messages that God is giving me to tell, to share with you. There are some energies in your vulnerability. Your vulnerability is your strength. God help me. That's what somebody is saying. God help me not put too much time in this because this right here, people, I feel like somebody, some people in your family treated you like trash. They treated you like trash, that you weren't never going to amount to anything, that you weren't going to be anything. And so saying tossed you away and all of a sudden to soothe their own ego. Now everybody want to come race into your aid because they feel like some money is coming across your path. Cut them all off. I don't even, it's no other word to say it. Here we have Angel Uriel, the angel of prophecy and wisdom. There it is. Don't look back. Don't look back. Cut all of them off. Your bitter ex's lover wants you. I don't know who that's for, but your ex wants to return. Yeah, people want to return. Ex-family members, ex-friends, ex-love interests, exes want to return because they feel like you're in your vault door building a legacy, a very rich legacy. So you made a positive impact on a lot of people, right? And so make room for new blessings to come across your path. And it's time for you to dream even bigger. You all are ruled by Neptune, so it's time to dream bigger. You have the gift of precognition for knowledge. Knowledge. And so somebody's still telling lies about you, but at this point you don't care. It's always been you versus you. The energies that are trying to get you all riled up about something, Pisces, are energies that they look at, uh, they got to create some kind of friction because like, I'm going to take it back to the beginning. Misery loves company. You're not interested in that. You're cutting a whole lot of people off. The new you, and you're not sharing any of your wealth with any of them because when it was time, when it was, when they, when you needed people to help you, people turned a blind eye to a whole lot of stuff and you're not interested. You are just not interested. Like keep that same. Y'all go over there and fight with yourself because like I said, people are trying to pull you back through a long and arduous journey and source is trying to make you triple booked and busy and not burdened by that. Source is trying to strengthen you and people are trying to keep you weak in a state of confusion. Yep. A new romantic cycle begins. You are taking all of their burden and stress and rage and bullying type of energy and low feelings and low self-worth. You're taking all of that off of your internal scales. And so I see a new romantic cycle beginning for you. So congratulations to you for that. But yeah, you're just leaving a whole bunch of stuff behind. People would love to, you know, their vengeance is theirs, you know, because Libra is ruled by, um, Libra is ruled by, um, is ruled by, um, like I said, I do see somebody has new and exuberant love in their lives. A lot of good things coming across your path. But Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. Um, but the dark side of it's also erotic love, um, attraction. That's the planet for that. Um, it's also a peacemaker planet, right? So source is saying being around these types of nice narcissistic energies, things will fester up in your spirit until you are completely overwhelmed and you won't know which you be for real confused as a water sign it's like turning the heat up under water and it's boiling hot and somebody forgot to turn the fire off and now it's just completely evaporated so now people get a chance to pour their toxins into your into your physical body and now you walking around just as toxic and miserable as they are so it's to say you better flee yourself from that because god is trying to send money trying to send love where you're building legacy wealth with that person and you walking around with all this negativity in you because you weren't strong enough to detach from these types of energies so it's to say then you become the judas in your own circle especially if you're making well i can't just cut people off and i mean well they do have a point and you stand you in a state of confusion so it's just saying no i'm trying to build i'm trying to help you got to recognize when people are you ever you know what i'm saying pisces you know how like um have you ever worked in a job? Let me give somebody an example. Have you ever worked in a job where a manager mistreated you the entire time, but because somebody else brought up a, a case or something against them and they're fighting that case, all of a sudden they're being nice to you and want you to align with them. And all of a sudden they're doing all these kind things for you. It's never about you. It's never about really genuinely helping you as an employee. In this case, it's family. In this case, it's friends, right? It's never about you. It's okay. Let me get what I can get from Pisces. And here you are. Oh, finally, I got some relief. Maybe my prayers have been answered. You know, they, they leaving me alone. So maybe they not that bad of a person. Maybe they not this, that, and the other until they get what they want. They didn't, get, they didn't lose their job. They didn't get fired because they had you, Mr. Miss Compassion, to write a letter on their behalf, you know, not saying anything about you had any issues or problems because in Europe, they convinced you, oh, let bygones be bygones. So this is like detach from all of it. Go tell that manager, you know what? I appreciate you being kind, but I just want to be focused on my work. 
So it needs you to be able to stand on it. I just need to be focused on my work. If you were already on your way out the door and, and they trying to be nice to you because they square up and down, you're going to tell something, tell about them, you know, in the exit interview because they're already fighting something else that they've been mistreating other people. So it's just saying, hey, release it, all of it. You don't have to say anything negative. You already on to your next belt in place. You're not carrying any of it. There's 55. I am evolving. So substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. 55. Two situations in particular, somebody said, I'm getting as far away from this, but I don't even want to have anything to do with it. Two types of situations. But it first started in your family. That's where the that's where the conditioning started, to stay connected to a bunch of drama. It first started in your own family, and then it worked its way out into your other relationships. Today, somebody is at a point where they're saying, I need to get strategic about getting away from this kind of mess. I need to start putting a plan in place to get away from these types of the way these people think. I need to get away from this. And that's where you are on your. Um, so, like I said, a new romantic cycle begins. You're definitely not going back to connect with people who are just straight up messy. Misery loves company. And if you are a person who is. Uh, the, when your water is low and you're around those people, all it takes is a phone call and pouring some, some gossip into your ear, trash talking. See this tra trash talking about somebody else? And next thing you know, your whole day is ruined. Because now you got to find some way to dump that trash off into somebody else's ear. And then they're going to dump that trash off into somebody says, oh, don't call me with that mess. I only want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. That's where Source is trying to get you to. I only want to know about it. Is that what you feel like you're worth? When you start telling people that, Pisces, when they bring in trash to you about somebody else, you can stop them and say, is that what you feel like your worth is? Like, I, I know you see yourself higher than that. Like, I know you got something else to offer besides gossip. That's going to stop some people in their tracks because you're basically saying to them, how dare you, how dare you disrespect my time here on earth by bringing me a bunch of trash and gossip about somebody? Is that how you see yourself? Is that what you see your worth is? Because you're not, it's like somebody bringing a big bag of nasty, like, uh, you know, the extra big lawn trash bag. It's like them dropping that in your house and saying, here, this is all I have to offer is my entry into your house. I'm not bringing any good news. I'm not bringing an apple pie. I'm not bringing, you know, I'm not bringing money. I'm not bringing some good, you know, I'm not bringing, you know, uh, investment tips. I'm not bringing anything into your house, but a bunch of trash. So it's some major changes that's happening out here. So congratulations to you all for, like I said, Moving on from those types of people, those two types of energies, Judas spirits, prosperity. So I am determined to win. I am diligent. I am defeating the odds. I am warrior strong. I summon my highest self to take control today. I invest my time wisely. I am persistent. That's right. And when we talk about determined to win, it's not, again, no verses against anybody, Pisces. That's a thing. People see people as weak when they decide to choose their peace over more pain that's not weakness that's meek saying i know god is handling the situation that weakness comes out i gotta i gotta be in constant fight and friction it's a lot of people around you right now that want to see you in so much pain pisces because they're in pain so they is it's masking itself as i want to be there for pisces when it's really you know i just want to see pisces as sad and broken and hurt as i am so if, if, even if it was something that like, even if it was something where, where if some kind of vengeance or something, cause the dark side of Venus is vengeance and vanity. And that's what you're dealing with. People who are vengeful, they're vain and they feel like, okay, oh, that's how they're trying to trauma bond with you. So source is saying, get away from those energies, cut them all off. That's what I have for you. Hopefully this bonus video has been helpful for somebody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.